Recently, there is one technique that got very popular among the Chinese community, which can be translated to double linkage. In this video, I will call it double channel tags because it's easier to understand. Here's some showcase of this technique. I just wanna feel that magic in my feet. Damn right. We'll be dancing the night away. And it doesn't really matter what they're. No. I just wanna let the music set me Let's free. Yeah. I'm gonna let Let's the music go. set me free. Check how I ride on the beat. Whoa, whoa. Just not young on the beat. And it's Chris Kiss, man, I get spun on the beat. Every time that I rock, man, I turn off the heat. Uh huh. Check how I ride on the beat. Uh huh. Just not young on the beat. After seeing those footage, you might be wondering, how is Drew Ron acting two times in a chain attacks? Usually, in a chain attacks, after using one character's chain, you will not be able to access that character again. But apparently, we can bypass this very mechanic, and it's actually not a bug. First, to understand this technique, we will have to look into how stun works in Xenodon Zero. After you attack an enemy, and the day's bar reach 100%, they will enter a stun state. And within this state, any heavy attack will cause the chain attack to happen. However, if you swap out of the character before the heavy attack hits, it will not register and the attack will not trigger the chain attacks. Essentially, it is how we control who to active chain attacks in Zeta Zone Zero. So when our stunner here, which is Envy, take enemy into the stun state. We swap out of her, goes to Juran, active her EX special. Juran EX special has two parts. First, she bends down and shoot a barrage of bullets. And then she back up, shoot a second barrage of bullets. The very last bullet of her EX special will be the one that considered to be heavy attacks will, and will trigger the crit bar from her passive. However, before the last bullet of Juron's EX hit the enemy, we will quickly switch to the call, use a dash normal attack. This will trigger the chain attack before Juron EX special can hit the enemy, and it also apply the debuff from the call, call passive. After that, we will trigger Juron's chain attacks, and this is when Juron's last bullet put into work. Since it will land right when Juan's first chain attacks is occurring. It basically means that Juan is now the one who starts a new chain attacks, and her slot from the chain attack sequence got refreshed. Hence why you will see Juan being the next character after Nicole's chain attacks. The technique itself has a lot of improvement for Juan. Well, not only does it have more debuff of time for Nicole, it also helps C0 Juzhuan gain more bullets without ultimate, essentially make Juzhuan doesn't need to worry about bullets anymore. And on top of that, Juzhuan chain's multiplier is actually very big, which makes Juzhuan team for now has one of the most damage from chain attack combo, since you don't need to cancel out from your stunner's chain attacks, and on top of that, you still gain decibel from your chain attacks. Some rough calculation from CN has estimated that this is a very big increase for Juran herself and Juran team overall. Next, I will demonstrate you on how to do this trick. First, you need to get your opponent to being stunned. Use your heavy hit and then immediately switch to Juran. Use her EX and as soon as she bends down and about to shoot, you switch to Nicole, do a dash and end one to trigger the chain attacks. The hard part about this technique is the timing. It's like Soldier 11 normal attacks. It doesn't matter how fast you can form the combo. In fact, if you do it too fast, you can also screw up your combo completely. Rather, you have to learn on the perfect time to trigger the chain attack with Nicole that will align with Juzhuan EX special. After all, there's not much to teach about this, since the tricks mostly require muscle memories and practice. Of course, it might get fixed in the future, but as long as it is still present in the game, I think that is the best way you can play Juzhuan right now. And with that being said, 
see you all next time That's fine.